stay tuned for Air Guide Detectives. JC at the JTS booth with our buddy Travis. Yes, sir. He's going to show us some new products for 2023. You guys remember last year when I showed you the Aracudas and what have you? They've got even more stuff. This is pretty amazing. All right, Travis, it's nice seeing you. Nice again, seeing you again, John. Show. Yes. All, All right. right. So, what so, do we got here? Yeah, we got a lot of new stuff this year at JTS. Uh, one of our big things is our new line of air rifle pellets. Amazing. Yeah, pellets. Our, our new dead center. Air rifle line. Right now we have two calibers, 22 and 25. The 22 and an 18 grain, and the 25 and the 25.4 grain. Um, these are real high-end pellets. These are not cheap, low-grade pellets. We bought the finest machines in the world. We hired the, you know, the best people to run the machines. Yeah. So we're making them ourselves. We're not buying them from someone else and slapping our logo on them. So these are your pellets? We make the ground these up. pellets and wow. we designed these pellets and did all all the work ourselves. So all the testing was done by us in shop and a few other shooters that I had. Yeah. So we went through a whole bunch of different air rifles to make sure they shoot from 3,000 FX guns down to $20 break barrel guns. Amazing. And just worked on it, worked on it until we had it all right. So right now we got the two calibers, the 22 and the 25. We have over 30 different pellet molds in the works right now. So the wow. 30 cal will be next. It's coming up real soon. Um, these are in stock right now at pre-COVID prices. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so roughly average, um, roughly, I mean. $8.99 a So we're ten. talking right around $10, under $10. Under 10 bucks. That is unbelievable. Oh. Yeah. And I have a feeling we're going to be able to test these out at some point. Trust yeah, me. yeah, yeah. I think you, yes. I think you got a pretty yes. good feeling about that. Wow, that sounds awesome. pellets, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So now we oh, got the we got the brawn, our new bullpup. This is basically the Max, the Aracuda Max. Wow. In a bullpup stock. I like this finish on this. This too. is a nice hardwood. Yep. With a nice checkering, all laser engraved. Beautiful wood. Beautiful cheek riser. Here's your regulated pressure. Okay. Here is your tank pressure. Wow. Two stage adjustable trigger. And you know, you hear a lot of people complain about the trigger on bull pups. Yes. Because of the linkage and yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. That is common. Cycle it. That work is that trigger, John. That is common. Okay. Let's see here. Oh wow. It's just that as is good smooth. as the gun. Oh, and it's you guys know like, how much I like the uh, the triggers on the regular Aracuda. It's They're the fantastic. Same. It feels just as nice. It's That's just beautiful. Yeah, a lot of work went That's into that. Beautiful. So, you know, here we got a regulated bullpup, hardwood, four ninety nine retail, five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks. Amazing. What type of uh, velocity or foot pounds energy are we get? This out is of this the baby? same as as the Aracuda. So it'll do seriously. Yep, it'll do the same speeds with the same pellet. And you guys saw the performance in those. Yeah, which are so it's amazing. identical. It's, yeah. the, it's the workings of the Max in a nice bullpup stock. That's fantastic. Yeah, with a really good price point. And, and you guys know how popular those bullpups are. And and, really and, are. and yeah. John, like like the Aracudas, no plastic. Yeah. All, all wood, all alloy, not a lick of plastic in these guns. You got your screw off cap on got, here. Yep, Foster, yep. no probes. Yep. We're, we're oh, does it have a no half probe. by 20 on here too? Half, half 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. You guys want to put a suppressor on it, you're good to yeah, go. Yeah, it's baffled already. Yeah. Um, it probably, it doesn't have as long a shroud, yeah. so it's not as quiet as the Aracuda. Yeah. Half but, 20, you're back. If you, if you want to add it. If you want to add you it, have there that you are. This That's gives fantastic. you the nice 35 inches. Yeah. So it's very beautiful. compact. Nice. Beautiful wood. Nice. Looking and, forward to looking yeah, at that. Yeah, and now we have. got stuff to feed it with, too. Yeah. So now they got their own pellets. So that's right. Does it get any better than that? I don't think it so. It does. Well, well we, maybe it does. It does. Let's see we what got, got the here. new we got our new compressor. Because you gotta fill these with something. Yeah, you gotta fill them with something. Now So tell this, us about that compressor. Th there was a lot of work put into this compressor. Um and I spent a lot I mean a lot of hours. I spent uh, over a hundred hours just working on the cooling system. Oh wow! Of a compressor we already made. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you're just improving it. Yeah. We, we had to we had to do a lot of testing and do a lot of torture testing, um, 
and we came up with this unit. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it um, and how it's different than compressors that are on the market and how it's different than the ones we have uh, we made last year and the year before. First, it's all enclosed in one package now. The inverter's inside the unit. It's shrunk down and put inside. So we got 110, 12 volt, or switch it on top to 220 okay. if you're overseas. Yep. Um, so it's all built into the unit. All you have is this now. It has a built-in water stripper in there, so it pulls the water off before gotcha. it get before you pump it into your gun. Yep. Auto set. So you that's can, why you set it for your pressure and automatically shut and off. And it automatically yep. sh shut itself off. Here's the big difference between this and our last year or anyone else's compressor on the market. Yes. There's not another com portable compressor on the market that'll fill a tank up to a thousand cc's without stopping for recooling. Yes. This will run all the way up to a thousand cc's wow. non-stop without Impressive. cooling. Because that's the portable cooling system you designed. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So how the system works is we have a fan on the top now and that cools the cylinder head. Okay. We have a fan right here that blows out and that's pulling air off the cylinder head. Okay. Okay. Here's a fan here. It actually pulls air in, goes inside the case of the compressor itself. Okay. Not the, so you're not, bringing the cool air in from the outside. That's right. Not, in. not inside the box, but yes. inside the actual compressor. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's no oil in it, obviously. Gotcha. Yeah. It's got sealed roller bearings now. Yeah. So it's pulling that cool air in, blowing over the high pressure sleeve of the piston, cooling yes. it. Yes. Going up under the low speed or low sight piston yes. and then ex exhausting out this outside the case. Pretty ingenious. I yeah, have so to say. That, yeah, so it's cooling the outside of the compressor. Yeah. And we're cooling the inside at the same time. There you go. So it never allows any buildup anywhere of nice. heat. Yes. And that way we can run it for a long time. And it's reasonable. As it's, far as weight goes. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not light, but it's not no, heavy. Not that heavy. But it's all. all you need. Yeah. But see, now you have the perfect You got match. everything, yeah. yeah. So if you're out in the field, hook it to your 12-volt lead. Yep. If you're in a hotel room, plug it into 110. There you go. You see, know? guys, it's a one-stop shop. They've got your compressor. This they got, obviously, the greatest rifles. And then you got the pellets to go with it. Right. So, yep. And you think that's it? Yeah. That's not it. You got other things? We got other things. All right, John. So, yeah. like I said, we kind of trying to get everything in our shop, so you only need to go to one place to get everything you need. Wow. We came out with a full line of air rifle scopes, all the way from 2 to 12 to 5 to 30. Wow. From second focal plane scopes to yeah. first focal plane. From 30 millimeter to 34 millimeter, 34 too. 34 millimeter? Yeah, 34 millimeter by 56, yeah. 5 to 30, huge turrets Yeah. with Unbelievable clicking. Just feel the clicks on that turret, John. Oh, yeah. Oh, super. And very positive. Very positive. Yes. You can feel it. Yep, you can. It's got big numbers for old guys like yeah, me. Yeah, like me. I can actually see yeah, that. Yeah, so you can my see glasses. the numbers. Yep. And, and get it right back to where you were and zero reset them. Wow. And lit reticle. This is a first focal plane scope. Okay. With a beautiful tree reticle. Look for that. That guy used the magnification. Oh my God, that is unbelievable. And then it has a, a, a lit reticle. Yeah. And side, side focus. Amazing. Yeah, so we go, you know, we have entry level. Guys, that is, that's a heck of a scope, yeah. well, I have to be honest we, with that's you. A, we got entry level all the way up to very high end and wow. everything in between and every kind of power range in between. So we're trying to car carry something for everyone. Gotcha. Maybe a guy who's doing long range shooting yeah. off a bench. Yep. Bingo. That would be this, your this is your guy. Gotcha. Maybe you're a walk around guy and you like first focal plane. Gotcha. Here's a lightweight scope. Beautiful reticle. Side focus illuminated. Well, the reticle guys on these are just amazing. Yeah. We, we designed all of our own reticles oh my and God, everything. They're amazing. Yeah, they really are. I, that's the one thing I wish we could show the audience, yeah. you know, is the reticle. Yeah. And I don't know if I can get a picture of that or not, but. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll, fig we'll figure out something. Yeah. Be nice if they could look at it, though. Yeah, but yeah it would yeah, be so nice if they could look at it. These beautiful reticles. Incredible. The glass is really nice. And the nice glass is super nice. Yes. Um, and so, so 
you've got the whole variety. Whole do you, variety. Do we know roughly? It goes from 200 up to 600. Okay, there you go. So this so scope with all of its features, yeah. our competitors are, are usually over a thousand bucks. I would say probably well over a thousand Over a thousand yeah. bucks. So we got all of that inside it under 600 bucks. Yeah, I just, yeah. That is one big scope. That is a big really sucker. Is. Yeah. That's fantastic. And when are these going to be available? These will be available, I believe, this fall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So probably the end of the year, guys. Yeah. They'll be around. But look for it. Yeah. But well, you got to see it here first. Yeah. That's the best exactly. part. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. See it here first. Well, fantastic. Um, you got one other thing that you're going to show us. Yeah. Let, okay. Let's head back the other way. So, John, you know, we had a, such great success with our Eric. Oh my god, one of my absolute favorite rifles. You guys know that because you saw me review it. Just absolutely fantastic. I, I tend to think of it as the best entry level gun on the market. Oh yeah, and I just I love the 3000 PSI Phil. Yep. I'm yep. just personal on that just because sure. it's not a huge air and I can use my traditional scuba tanks to keep it flowing. Right, or you yep. can hand pump it, yep. you know. Yep, yep. And uh, so we had really great success so we expanded on that and this year we brought in our 30 cal oh my god there you go guys a little bit more foot pounds of energy yeah there we go so now you guys want to shoot those pigs or yeah, yeah. Oh, coyotes absolutely. or what have you what type of velocities are we getting out of this one this will shoot the 44 75s in the upper 800s wow that's that's good out that's, of, a, out of an 18 inch barrel yes and that's some significant foot pounds of energy yeah it's that's about 80 sure. foot pounds yeah which is fantastic out of a carbine yeah is and, and is this set up the same way uh, as far as the max, as far as regulated, the whole thing? It's all regulated, okay. yeah. Oh, it's built okay. off the max uh, platform. But a 30 caliber, now to go along with the 22 and the 25, you got a 30. Yeah, so yeah. we got all the all the stuff covered in the bore sizes for your yep. pellet shooters. Yep. And there's our brawn again right there's there. There's our brawn. Yep. It's beautiful wood. And, and what caliber does this one come in? I don't know if we asked It's going to come in 22, 25, and 30, And I eventually 32. Yeah. Wow. And I forgot to ask you, when are these going to be available? This fall. This fall as well. Yep. Okay, guys, something to look forward towards the end of the year. Yeah. Fantastic. Travis, I can't thank you enough for Thanks, showing John. us these products. I appreciate yeah, you. This is great. And this we love really your is. videos. We yes. absolutely love yes. John's videos. Well, thank you. So. Thank you. All right, guys, let's wrap this one up.